Welcome back. This is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, December 8, 2020. And we'll start by looking at, uh, at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we rallied quite significantly in the beginning of the European session. Um, I do believe that we are going to retest this 20 exponential. This has been the, one of the trades that I've been waiting for because I know that it's going to have major implications for indices, for example, the NASDAQ and S&P 500, which will eventually pull back. They are overstretched at this point. Um, but this is not a very positive um, looking candlestick. However, these technical indicators are turning around. The CCI is turning around, the stochastic is turning around, and we are significantly over uh, sold at this point. So a pullback towards the 20 exponential, that is uh, very likely, and that will have major implications, for example, on oil prices and commodities and precious metals. So let's start looking at oil. So we broke down earlier in the trading session, all the way down to 45.52. Um, and I think that we are going to go lower from here. I think that we're going all the way down to 40, uh, 44. That is going to be the bottom. So this is the bottom of this candlestick here and just above the 20 exponential moving average. If you see that technical indicators for, for oil, they are um, looking much more bearish at this point. Um, both the uh, stochastic and the CCI are turning around. MACD is almost crossing the signal line, and uh, it looks like the CCI is also becoming fairly bearish at this point. It's near flat, but yeah, curving to become bearish. So the plan here is to, to buy into oil at this level. So a breakdown towards this level here is definitely a buy. You'll find support at the 20 and also these previous lows. So you'll most likely go down here and then head towards the 50 uh, or 70, uh, uh, 47.5 or the 50. That will be the target with a stop loss right underneath the 20 exponential moving average or these previous highs. So let's look at natural gas. We have almost reached the target and the target is just here at uh, 2.5. Uh, 2.25. Um, there is some room left to the downside. We're at 32, almost oversold but it can go lower. These technical indicators are looking very bearish at this point. We're just dropping. Um, if we have weather conditions that, that uh, become worse in the United States, or maybe if we become colder, then we'll most likely see this rally significantly. Um, but at this point, this looks very, very bearish. And, and, and because we have broken these previous, um, all of these previous lows here, uh, there's not much support left there until we find um, that 200 moving average. So if you break the 200 moving average, then of course we drop all the way down to 2.0. So um, at this point, it's just to wait to see how far we go and um, if we manage to find significant support and turn around. Uh, then we'll target uh, 220 to 50 and then probably go higher. I don't think that we are going back to 2.37 that's not very likely but uh, three that is that is plausible so stop loss right underneath here and then target those previous highs so let's look at copper we can see that we broke down early in the trading session rallied again above the previous highs and then broke down again so 3.47 that is as far as when this market went. But these indicators are looking dreadful at this stage. It is almost plausible now to start selling this uh, with a stop loss right up above uh, these previous highs uh, because the, Mac, the CCI is turning around, the, Mac, the, C, no, the stochastic is turning around, the CCI is turning around. We are significantly overbought and the MACD is looking more and more bearish at this stage so a pullback towards the 20 exponential that is most likely the target at this point so let's look at gold gold has rallied all the way up towards the 50 moving average but at this point we have pulled back it is in my view just more of the same 
it is um, rally up towards the 50, break down again, rally up towards the 20, break down again. We have done it so many times the past um, past months um, that it's it's it is um, I have to see us break and trade well above the 50 moving average before believing that we are going to do so. So we have two significant resistant and support lines here, uh, which are going to be very important uh, going forward from here. If we rally above the 50, we'll find resistance, major resistance here. We'll break down and then most likely head towards this lower support line. And then we'll go zigzag in towards this corner until we have a breakdown, breakout. I am favoring the upside because I'm, um, I think in the long run that we are going to see gold go significantly higher. So a breakout from here, that will open the door to these previous highs at 1950 nine or 60 or to 2000 and 2001 and then beyond that technical indicators for gold are very bullish at this point so we may have a run at the 50 moving average so let's look at silver silver is even more bullish than gold so we're now we're trading above the 50 moving average we also have significant uh, resistant line about this area here so it will be interesting to see whether or not we manage to break that major resistance line if not we're heading back towards these lows at 22.5 um, and yes we'll see technical indicators are very bullish for silver but we need to break this resistance line in order to go higher from here so if that happens then it's a plausible buy with a stop loss right underneath here so let's look at platinum there was a lot of action in this market today. It broke down nearly 4%, found resistance here at the 1.0 or 1003, which were the previous highs back over here, and then rallied again. But I think this is just, um, we got way ahead of ourselves. So it got all the way up to uh, 1.080, and um, then broke down. I think that we are heading back towards the 20 exponential moving average around uh, 969. If you look at technical indicators for, for, for platinum, they are looking very bearish at this point. So to buy here is, is, um, is, uh, is not a good idea. <laughs> to sell it, we should have still sold it here. That should have been, but this is a very very tricky market to to basically trade i would prefer a pullback towards the 20 something similar to this and then buy it to the upside because we are still in an uptrend and this is just a pullback and you will just see how far we technically go in this market so pallium we are still in the same place um still at the 50 moving average hanging around here we have the highs here at uh, 2.48 and the lows here at 2.18 we're right in the middle at this point just stay away from this it's um it is no point of trading this because it can go either way so it's just um it's a pure gamble because the technical indicators are not showing anything at this point either so let's look at aluminium So this is a market that is looking really, really interesting. I'll most likely make a trade in this market tomorrow if it shows that we are about to turn around here. Still, at this point, technical indicators are looking very bearish. So we may test the 20, probably break below something similar to this before we rally again. We are in a massive uptrend. We got a way up ahead of ourselves, but now the RSI is lower. But these technical indicators are looking very dreadful, even though MACD is crossing the signal line. So if we get close to the 50 moving average, that is even better. But we need a clear sign to turn around in order to enter this market for a buy. So let's look at nickel. We can see that we tried to rally, broke down again. At its point, I think that we're heading back towards the 
20 exponential moving average. If that is the case, that is a, a plausible buy for this uh, commodity. Um, technical indicators are technically all over the place. MACD is flat, Stochastic is bullish, the RSI, CCI is bullish, but the RSI is flat at this point. So a pullback towards the 50, that's a plausible buy-in with a stop loss right underneath and a target of these very highs. So let's look at sugar. So sugar has found support here at 0 uh, 0.1427, and it is to be seen whether or not we manage to rally from here. We tried to rally up towards the, 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 um, the 20 exponential moving average, broke down again, and now we're trading underneath the 50 moving average. So it is not a very good sign. We could tumble from here, head towards 0 0.1399, uh, these technical indicators are looking more bearish at this point, so we need to find the bottom of this market. And I would guess that this would most likely be the bottom. If this breaks, then we're heading way lower, all the way down to 0 0.1323, that previous high is here. So we'll see what happens when we get to this area. If we turn around, then there's a plausible buy-in with, uh, with, a, with a stop loss underneath and target of these very highs. So let's look at cotton. We can see that we have rallied today. Um, I should not have missed this one. I did miss this one. I was expecting this market to go towards the 50, but we rallied. Um, at this point, we are most likely going to, to test these previous highs. So to enter here is quite of a gamble uh, because we could get rejected at this price level here. Um, but if that breaks, then we're heading to the very, very highs here. So it is to be seen. Uh, technical indicators for cotton are very bullish at this point. So we'll see whether or not we break this price level here. That will be a very bullish shine and we will go significantly higher from there. So let's look at COA. So we have found um, support here at the 20 exponential moving average. And this is looking very interesting because we may bounce from here and go back to the previous size, at least these previous size. So um, 2.7, that is uh, plausible to, uh, to a target 2.7 with a stop loss around the knee here um, or even target 2.8. So We'll see what basically happens when the market opens tomorrow. If you open underneath the 20 exponential, that's a very bad sign. But if you open above the closing price today, then that is a clear sign that we are most likely going to go higher from here. So it is to be seen, but the 20 exponential moving average has proven to be supported, and that is a very good sign. We can also look at the Fibonacci retracement. This made um, quite a lot of sense that the um 20 exponential moving average were, was uh, supportive because it's right at the first Fibonacci retracement. If this breaks, then we're heading down to 2.5. If that breaks, then the 50 moving average in comes to play. I don't think we'll go lower than 2.529. That is as low as this market will go at this current stage. So let's look at wheat. We can see that we broke down quite significantly all the way down to 500, 605, and then found support. We are we have a lot of room to the downside. There is not a whole lot of support underneath here. Uh, we found support because it was the previous highs here. If that breaks, then we are going all the way down towards the 200 moving average. So just keep that in mind. These technical indicators are looking dreadful at this point. So it is a matter of seeing how far this market goes. And my guess would be down to uh, 550. That's just above the 50 move, 200 moving average and a fairly round number. If that breaks, then the, 50, the 200 moving average comes into play and that's just underneath. So we'll see how far this goes. So um, interesting day, but um, well, most didn't go exactly the plan. I was expecting... Uh, rally in the US dollar index and uh, breakdown in the indices, but 
that will most likely happen sometimes this week. So good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.